a full frontal attack after the power show of the BJP in the national capital. The Prime Minister calling Arvind Kejriwal an anarchist a backstabber. I have with me Asutosh, a senior leader of the Ahmadni Party. Your uh, leader is a backstabber, he's a liar and he's also an anarchist. I think you should go to the Mr. Lal Kis Adwani and ask him who backstabbed him. Just go and ask him who backstabbed. Whole world knows what kind of politics is pursued by Mr. Narendra Modi. Uh, just ask, ask Lal Kis Adwani who backstabbed him, who had promoted him, who mentored him, who made him what he is today. He saved his seat. How he behaved with him, everybody knows. That's a part of history. Asutosh, uh, he said that uh, you, uh, Ahmadni Party is uh, it, it's a party of an, uh, anarchists and they are good only for the roadside dharnas. Governance should be left to BJP. You know, when why a political party a leader gets into the negative campaign? Because when they do not have anything to offer to Delhi people. Now, Delhi, in Delhi, Aam Aadmi Party has a vision, has, a, uh, has promised two things, very, very categorically. One, we'll make Delhi the world-class city. Secondly, we said we'll make, we'll make Delhi corruption-free, uh, free, first corruption-free state in, in India. Deputy Editor Brijesh Pandey now joins me live from the national capital. Uh, Brijesh, without actually naming his principal opponent in Delhi, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has clearly drawn the battle lines, launching the most direct scathing attack on Arvind Kejriwal. Absolutely. It was a classic political speech. Uh, there was something for everybody. He catered to the core constituency of Aam Aadmi Party, uh, also kind of uh, dipped into the popular uh, perception of uh, slashing of electricity bill of Delhi, whereby he said that like mobile phones, uh, you can have a portability of electric supply. If you are not satisfied with one, you can go choose the other remaining nine. Apart from that, his speech also found mention of several of key projects, housing for everybody, every slum, slum dwellers in Delhi uh, in uh, 10 uh, 2022 and, and various other schemes. Apart from that, he also launched a full frontal right. assault on them without naming uh, Kejriwal per se. So it was a classic political speech in which he tried to tell the people of Delhi that the only po uh, the only party which can do justice to the aspirations of people in Delhi is, is the Bharati Janta Party. And, and to showcase the turnaround which we are witnessing on the political, political landscape in Delhi, uh, it, uh, uh, political landscape in India, he also had the three chief ministers of state right. Where the BJP did splendidly well, so uh, it was it was an all-out frontal assault and big showcase uh, of the powers of the BJP and their uh, their six or seven months in governance. So it was a classic political speech by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But absolutely classic political speech uh, by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and without directly uh, you know naming Arvind Kejriwal, the BJP pretty much acknowledging there who their principal opponent, uh, at least in the national capital, is. Thanks, Rajesh, for joining us uh, with that update.